I wanted to apologize for what it's worth. I'm sorry. I really, honestly, truly am. For what? For what happened between us in high school. What happened between us? I'm talking about what happened at the end of senior year, which Vince was trying to get me to talk about before. Before when? Like five minutes ago. About when you and I got together in high school? Right. Right. So, tell me again what happened. Do you know which day I'm talking about? At the end of senior year? At Rebecca's party? Yeah. Yeah. I'm just curious. I don't want there to be a communication gap here. Not really sure what I'm supposed to say. I think you think you did something to me. Yes. What do you think you did? Why? Because it's very interesting to me. Do you not think something happened? Well, of course something happened. Right, but are you saying you don't remember what it was? Come on, John. There are certain things one doesn't forget. I agree. I'm just wondering how you describe it. Probably the same way as you. You think? The whole reason this thing started is because Vince taped a conversation he and I had earlier. That's, that's why I'm here. You're here because Vince taped you? Yes. Why? 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 Because it made me think. What? Oh. Which is why I came back. Good. So tell me what happened. I think I raped you. No. You didn't rape me. Yes, I did. No, you didn't. Are you trying to make fun of this? No. Amy, I know what happened. Apparently not. I do. Says who? Me. Why? Because I just admitted it. On what? The tape? Yes. What's on it? It's me confessing what I did. What did you do? I just told you. But that doesn't prove that you did it. And why not? Because if no one is accusing you of anything, then there's nothing to confess. I'm having trouble realizing what you're doing. I'm not doing anything. This is not an easy thing for me. Are you sure about that? Amy. What? You are mocking this. Why would I do that? I don't know, but, but if you are, I have better things to do. I just think we have differing perspectives on what happened. I really don't see how that could be. Why? Because you decided that you did something? But I, I did do something. Well, I say you didn't. So then what happened? We had sex. Amy, I am trying to be honest. Why now? Because I haven't seen you in 10 years. But why now? Because when Vince played me back that tape, it had hit me what I had done. And if he hadn't played you back the tape? Yeah. Would you be saying this? Probably not. Or is it just because I'm here? What do you mean? If I lived in Alaska, would you have sought me out? I don't really know. You should look into that. Fine. Or maybe it's because you're jealous. Of what? Vincent and I. That's ridiculous. Why? I loved you. I did. I was totally in love with you that night. Were you in love with me? No. So then why were you with me? I'm not sure. Maybe it's the same reason you came back just now. Which is what? You like pissing off Vincent. Why would it piss him off if that's what he wanted in the first place? It's never too late to one-up your best friend by telling him once and for all that you raped the love of his life in high school. Especially if you can do it in front of her. You really think I'm like that? 
I'm not sure. I have a very poor record of judging you accurately. Maybe you just came back to get the last word. You didn't like what you heard on the tape and you came back to phrase it more eloquently. The reason I came back was to apologize, which I can assure you was not at all disingenuous. I honestly am sorry. Why? Because you had your hand over my mouth? Yes. Well, hey, John. I let everyone do that. Can you please just tell me the truth? I am. I'm gonna go, Amy. I'm sorry. And I'm sorry you are not in a place where you can hear that right now. I hope you have a good life. Why did you say that? What? That I'm not in a place to hear that. Because you don't seem to realize that I am serious. I don't know how else to put it to other than to have said what I have said. And even if you really do think it wasn't a big deal, it was for me. And I want you to know that I am sorry it happened. Well, you should be. And I hope you die for it and go to hell. And if there is no hell, I hope you suffer on your way to death. And that your last living sensation is that of a steel rod being shoved up your insides, pummeling your heart and puncturing your stomach. And when you die and your sphincter finally collapses, my hope is that your last bowel movement be saturated with blood from the draining backwash of your rotted fucking pathetic guts. Is that about what you were expecting? I really don't know what you expect me to say to you. Nothing. Yes, this is Amy Randall from the DA's office. Could you dispatch a squad car to the Motel 6 on Saginaw, room 32? There appears to be a significant amount of illegal substance in the room. It appears to be cocaine. Yes, and you might want to run a check on one of the two gentlemen here, John Saltzman. S-A-L-T-Z-M-A-N. Possible history of sexual misconduct, including a verified first degree CSC 10 years prior. Thank you. You can make a run for it if you like. The average response time in Lansing is about four minutes. It's one of the top departments in the country. Why does it have to be like this? Because if you're truly repentant, you should be willing to pay the price. Why can't you just accept the fact that I am sorry? It does me no good. Is that my fault? No. That's the way it is.